Okay, we're supposed to do one. <laughs> oh, yeah, where's your plan? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, the cut thing. <laughs> yeah. that it was completely different than anything we've seen in a long, long time. I don't yeah. know if I've ever seen a race develop like what that one did. So, it's like a car losing three cylinders, yeah, not really. one, not dropping no. one cylinder, leaving one three. And it was plenty if you watch, no matter who was leading or who they was running, they'd be running along there at a steady speed, and then the next lap, it'd slow down a half a second. Okay, we went to Daytona, save fuel. <laughs> we go to Atlanta, save fuel. Going to Bristol, I don't know what we tires right. And every every race we've run so far, there's been one car that just dominated. Basically, the Lem car dominated the race. Sunday. We've had five yeah. races and five different winners. And if I was a gambling man and I had any money, I'd bet there'll be a different winner this good. week at Texas. Here we are again in the Petty Museum and Level Cross. Yeah. And of course, we was both in Bristol yesterday for a while, anyway, right? Well, we there and we hadn't seen much. We hadn't seen much like that before, yeah. have we? It was completely different than anything we've seen in a long, long time. I don't yeah. know if I've ever seen a race develop like what that one did. Uh, you know, it was one of those deals where when they throw the green flag, the guy that's running dead last was running as fast as the guy up front. And they was just all in the line. And then everything worked good until the tires started wearing out. And, I mean, they wore out, buddy. I mean, they'd been... 45 laps, and then you, the cord was showing on them. So. It's like a car losing three cylinders, yeah, not really. one, not dropping no, one cylinder, leaving three. Happened, and it was funny if you watched, no matter who was leading or who they was running, they'd be running along there at a steady speed, and then the next lap, it'd slow down a half a second. You mean, I mean, it just, because the tires just quit all at one time, and they come in, and all four, <laughs> all four of them was just, I mean, wore to the core. And I've never... We, it's been a long time since we've had any tires that wore down that much. A lot of times they go away, but they don't wear out. Well, that's what I, you know, listen to all the talk and everything. They wanted tire wear. Right. So Goodyear give it to them. But they should have told Goodyear. They didn't want them to wear out. <laughs> they want tire wear, but not wear out. I'd rather have, I, I wish they'd have said tire give up yeah. instead of tire wear out because yeah. that just, but still well, yet, and Richard, and I talked to some of the crew people for the race and everything, it was one racetrack with those tires where the, even in qualifying and everything, a car would more or less lose it, but he could catch it catch without it. hitting a wall and wrecking, and that was one positive thing. Yeah. And the crews were expecting tire wear before the race. Yeah, but nothing like what Nothing seen. like was seen. Yeah. And But, okay, we went to Daytona. Save fuel. <laughs> we go to Atlanta. Save fuel. Going to Bristol. I don't know what we tires, right? Yeah, but I don't, I can't say nothing about yeah. Vegas. Yeah. But then yeah. go to Phoenix, get the first pit, <laughs> <laughs> and then we go to go to Bristol, and it's nothing but, but tire management. But it was was one of the deals where everybody ran basically the same speed. Well, okay. you you know, you know then, I'm repeating what you then, said. Then the difference then was. Some people's tires just wore out quicker than others, and uh, when they did, they they just pulled over. I mean, you'd be leading the race, and within one lap, the guy would go from first to tenth or twelfth or fifteenth. But you're talking you're talking about two to two and a half or three seconds Different a thing. lap, and yeah. and. When you're running in the 17 second bracket, <laughs> you're just about lapping yourself. But, you know, I guess in the, in the long run, uh, the Lemon car wound up winning the race, and basically, I guess he was the best car all day long. All day long. You know, uh, I know the 19 caught up with him right there at last, but and got uh, by him. And got by him. But the big deal was that when they made their pit stop. Uh, the 19 car was like almost two seconds behind. Yeah. So he used himself up getting up there with the 11. Yeah. So I guess the 11 pit crew and and the, their strategy was better than anybody. But else. you know when they showed pictures of the tires, Richard, some of them was maybe cording a little bit on the inside, inside or outside. I couldn't really tell, and some of them down the middle. So camera camera had to be really really critical well, or air pressure or something. I, but I, I don't understand. Some of the cars, but see, uh, to the first thing that happened was that one car blew it right front, okay, and he was the only car that didn't finish the race. Everybody else, the finished. seventy-one car, yeah, yeah. and so, but 
the deal, the the race was pretty interesting uh, because the cars would be running and running, and then all of a sudden people start slowing down. The guys that would, were able to pass them, so there was a whole lot of passing going on. Uh, I guess it didn't mean anything till till they made all their last pit stops. But uh, with uh, with the forty three car was running along pretty good, and then they thought they was going. They gambled. They took a chance and said, okay, we're going to stay out here because they'll have a caution. They're going to have to have a caution. And when they did, then he got lapped. And then, you know, in the pits and stuff, I think he got too close to the wall. Anyhow, uh, we made some mistakes on it. But the 42 car, you know, he started way back there in the back. And and by the time they had the first uh, caution deal, or the second caution, I guess, uh, he'd worked his way up to the top ten and stayed there all day long, pit stops and everything. So he had a really, really good day. Yeah, the, and of course they needed it. Of course the forty two does too. But can you, okay, put yourself in Joe Gibbs's place and he's got three of his cars up there <laughs> racing, racing each, each other with wore out tires. <laughs> Wonder what he was thinking, where his uh, heart rate was. Yeah. But uh, it, it was a good day for Toyota and. Um, yeah. They, they wound. They wound up, I guess, not wearing the tires out as much as anybody else. They had other cars that could run as fast. You know what I mean? Uh, but they didn't, didn't. Couldn't run as long. And that that that's what just it changed the whole complexity of the race because of the way the tires were. So, you know, if they had just had regular tires and we hadn't had the tire problem, the race would have been a lot different race. Yeah, it, um, but you know, I'm I'm gonna repeat myself. If you ever, if the people ever say they want tire wear again, be sure and say without tire wear out, because that just <laughs> I think that just spoiled a whole day for a lot of people yeah, and and it, a lot of good cars. I think I think the drivers now will be a little bit uh, uh, easier on talking to Goodyear about what they want on their tires. Yeah, because you yeah you might say what you want and not want it when you're not happy <laughs> when you get what, it. They got what they ask for. Because them drivers, I, you know, just hearing them talk and being around them and everything, some of the stuff they felt, they had never felt before, no, Richard. They, they had, they had they never thought, felt anything where the cars, they fell off and kind of wowed down and everybody was running and made the same speed. And then all of a sudden they just stopped and I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a race in all my years where the tires quit as quick as what they did there. and uh, From one lap to the from next. One, from one lap to another. I mean, that was just – I mean, you'd say, well, man, that, that guy just lost a motor or lost a, a gear yeah. or something because he slowed down so much. In fact – they was lucky because some of them guys slowed down so much. It's wonder they didn't have some wreck. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm with you on that. But it didn't just start in the race. It started in qualifying Saturday. Yeah. Is that when they qualified? I I can't remember hardly what I done yesterday. But uh, it, it started in qualifying, and uh, yeah, everybody knew they was going to be t- they tire know, wear. It, yeah, but they didn't know it was going to wear them out. <laughs> yeah, well they. They did. They just didn't know the number it was going to count it. And I, I'm not sure. I guess the 43 car I sat on the pit box most of the day, they was in tire-saving mood most of the time. Most of the day. And I'm not sure that helped any more than the ones up there in the front that, that running really hard, hard and racing. And so I don't, I, don't, I don't know what saving tire is in that condition. But, you know. You know, I thought about it, too. I said, okay, if, if I was trying to save tires, would I approach the corner different? Would I run high? Would I run low? I, I don't know. You mean I, I don't? I don't know where. The, it looked to me like it didn't make any difference where you run on the racetrack. Well, it, it was Richard Ware. Well, I, I got home, I got home about nine o'clock last night and watched it again. I run it on television again, and television don't justify what the place looks Watch like in person. Yeah. But they talked about the eight car running high all one session and he was he was not making trying to make time or anything. And I'm not sure he tire. saved tires on that because he's I think he spun a couple of times on his, <laughs> on his own. <laughs> but he got television time, you know, so but uh you know, we got there fairly early and of course you was there all weekend and I didn't think there's going to be no people there, Richard. It wound up decent, I guess. It was a decent crowd. It, you know, it was certainly wasn't full like we've seen it before. But uh, they got more, probably twice more seats than any racetrack we go to. But um, okay, 
we've had five mm. races and five different winners. And if I was a gambling man and I had any money, I'd bet there'll be a different winner this the, week at Texas. When you go to, you go to that road course, it's, it's, you know, the last two or three weeks, it's been completely different. We went from super speedways, you know, to a mile, a mile and a half track, down to a half mile track. You know, now we're going to a road course. So uh, the difference there is being able to, to make everything work at each one of those. And nobody's really uh, really hit all, all the places where, they, where they're that good. And every, every race we've run so far, there's been one car that just, just dominated. And I, I think basically the Lem car dominated the race Sunday. Well, they did. but And, then, and of course, I'm going to repeat myself again. We had fuel saving, fuel saving, and, and, and tire saving. <laughs> so I don't know what, but I, I I'm I'm sure these. Well, I think when you go to the road course, you don't save nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay. You use the tires and the brakes. You know, and I don't think the ash mileage there will make any difference. But I, th- I think for sure these, uh, the front row 34 car, I know he's licking his chops oh, to get yeah. there. And, of course, A.J. in the 16 car, supposedly road course aces. Yeah. But these old veterans ain't going to roll over and die <laughs> either. You know what I mean? They say, I'll show these road course yeah. people. So it's going to be a ch- – I don't know what the big challenge. I know what the big challenge is. At it's getting Coder, in the first corner. Getting, it, getting through calamity corner. They go up there and they get <laughs> six, eight abreast. You know, I, they they was talking about starting to race further back, wasn't they? So they I, I, be I don't know out. what they're going to do. It's going to be interesting to watch. Yeah. I'd, so we'll watch it on Sunday and see what happens, okay? Well, they might all let them start from the pits from a standstill. <laughs> kind of something like what Formula <laughs> 1 does. But, but no matter what, there'll be a race – under NASCAR's banners, and uh, they'll be a winner. For sure. And if I had to bet, I'd say a, a, different, a, one, a, right? a different winner. Not the way it done. I, we've seen tire wear uh, over the years with uh, all the r- different racetracks we run, but I've never seen anything where so many people stopped wore out the tires at the same time within four or five laps everybody just wore their tires out and uh, I've never I, no, basically no I've never seen tire wear work out exactly the way it did at Bristol uh, I remember one Sunday at Hickory, North Carolina 100 mile race it was dirt it was dirt <laughs> let me finish <laughs> and uh we had knobby tires, and you had a hole in the floorboard where you could see your front tire and the rear tire, and we used 22 tires in, in a 100-mile race. And it, this is before radios, and Richard's signaling for tires, and I'm helping Firestone mount them, and <laughs> then I had to put them on. But I think we wound up winning the race and used 22 tires on a dirt track. Yeah, from race to race, it was different. Uh, we we used to have a lot of tire work. Um, used to blow a lot of tires and stuff, and then, uh, you know, Goodyear come with the safety inner line and stuff, and I guess 66 or somewhere along there, and that, that started saving the cars, but it just still didn't save the tires. And uh, so we had a lot of tire problems. It took uh, Goodyear and Firestone a long time to, to really figure out how to make a, 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 a basically a safe tire whether it wore out or not the big the big thing back years ago when it was treaded tires and everything we had to fight blistered tires richard yeah and a lot of times we'd go to a track and it was getting so hot we'd go out and run them two or three laps to put some heat in them and we thought they would last longer yeah. and uh so it's just it's just different it's just such a different culture now and but uh, Bristol was something certainly different. I know, I don't know, and I I don't know, I don't know what, and we got to go back there too, you know. And it'll be, I think it's a night race, and it'll even be a little more faster. And I know speed will wear them worse. So, okay, but we got a lot of stuff in between there. Richard, how good were you at tire management? And then Dale, 
tell me how good Richard was at tire management. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know if I was good at tire management or not. I, I, I do know that a lot of times, uh, you know, you put in brand new tires and the cars would run quicker. So a lot of times we didn't run as hard as some of the rest of the people did so that we didn't wear the new off the tires. So we we uh, we done everything we could to try to, to do tire management. Uh, and that was a, a different groove on the racetrack or uh, just maintaining your speed early and let the guys wear their tires out before you started racing with them. Yeah, I, I'll repeat kind of what he said. We, we know that the tires was going to give up but not wear out. So if you didn't abuse them too much to start with, and he was good at it, and we talked about it prior to the race, different tracks and everything, but he was real good at it. And then – Heat was the big thing we had to fight back then, along with not as much tire wear, just heat. And then when the tires got hot, they give up yeah. then. Have you cleaned your glasses this morning? I cleaned them right before I came in. <laughs> I, before I, I got out of my car, I got my little camera, I got a little light to clean my glasses. I, knew you were gonna my on that. I said, Bob, I know you glasses are dirty because I can't see your eyeballs. That's right. <laughs> 